Deadlock sucks. And in this video, I'll break it down why she sucks, but also what can be done to save her. Welcome to the Lost Lab. We're going to be talking about Deadlock today. And, well, she's not the best agent. I kind of click by the intro when it comes to sucks because she's not super terrible. She's still, I think, more useful than the Harbor release before the buffs, but she is definitely not strong. I spent the entire day playing her today um, and I also spent hours in customs to test out like the interactions and so on. And I can, I, I think like my opinion will not change until unless i will literally see something completely new that i never never happened to me in game so let's let's um break down all the utility pieces that she has right now the grenade is the weakest absolutely weakest part of her utility and not only her but also in the entire game i feel like there's no other piece of utility that does less than this grenade because the grenade what it does it literally makes people crouch that's it and that's it. There's nothing else that it does. But not only that, this piece of utility has a counter inside of it. It literally gives your opponent a counter. Look. Oh, not crouching anymore. Not crouching anymore. You just press use and after less than a second, you're unaffected by a piece of utility that costs 200. So why is this important? This is important because when you're doing an execute and you're throwing this at an angle, like let's say you're going for on Fracture B and you throw it behind dice and someone gets affected, he just literally presses use because he's not exposed and that's it. So you throw it for nothing. The only thing that you gain is that there's a small audio cue that someone pressed the use. So when you do this, there's a sound like... But when you're doing a full execute, you might not even hear it. It's, it's really weak. This grenade feels like it's not worth buying in most of the rounds what i did today specifically on attack because on defense at least it can like momentarily stop a push but it doesn't stop the opponent from shooting or like even like being there right but what you can do with it is at least you, it's somehow useful on defense to some degree but on attack i literally think i have never gotten any value out of it even when i was like trying to so on attack, I literally stopped buying it unless I had too much cash. It, I was saving 200 cash per round by not buying it so I could have buy more guns or more shields, smaller shields, in next rounds because I just never found value out of this grenade on attack. Now, she's a sentinel and her traps are not really doing her the sentinel's job so she cannot really hold the flank reliably with those traps because they are only activated when someone shoots next to it makes a footstep swings the knife sprays or um that's it because if you use utility pieces they don't trigger it if any ults don't trigger it unless those ults counts as weapons like jet um jet knives or neon ult right those will trigger the traps but the thing is those traps can only be placed on uh, like normal positions like on the walls they cannot be placed like on curved locations like this uh, they can be on the ceiling or, or, or they can be higher but the activation is as you see, as you see is the box only so if you're putting it higher and it doesn't reach the player that makes noise, then it's not going to get activated. Also, it's very easy to know where, it's go where it is because once you are going into the range of this blue box, this trap pulses, like emits sound that it's so loud that you immediately know where it is. You can shoot it, but not only that, you can literally shoot it when it's exploding so you counter the stun. So most points of contact that you want to do with that trap don't that doesn't really make any sense because there are like you need to put those traps way deeper on sites way deeper like for example um there should be uh the 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 the, the, the site here right from um from ascent if i'm not mistaken is it here now we're gonna run it but in general, my experience from today, if you want to hold a flank with this character, you are putting the traps in different positions than other sentinels. Essentially, what you do is you try to put, like, for, for example, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna open Valopland and I'll just show you where 
uh, I'm gonna be putting it where I'm playing like anti-flank because you have to put those traps in spots where your opponent is expected to either shoot or make noise. So let's say I'm playing Haven right now. And if I'm playing Haven, I'm not putting uh, the trap like what I would put on a cipher, like here or here or here, because players in those positions never make noise. So if I would put the trap, I would put it over here when players have contact. So they're typically like doing a step because they're peeking out or maybe they even pre-fire something and that affects them. So that's the only position that I would actually put it out here. And that's another problem because that's very deep. So no one is like accustomed to that and ranked so you have to like tell them that it's like very deep or so on or you just never do it and you just put it for post plans and so on but because on post plans they are fine but still the activation of that trap is is very long and it doesn't the stun is stun, you know how a stun works people will still shoot you i had many situations today when i got killed because someone was still stunned and it doesn't really change much because he's able to shoot and tap accurately right so that doesn't really make a lot of a difference and um, remember that all of those pieces of utility that, uh, that deal damage are able to destroy this. And they are super huge as well, so it's very easy to hit them randomly with a bullet. So you can't really put them in positions that can be spammed. Like, for example, if you want to put a trap against a jet that dashes on switch on a sand, you can't really put the trap over here because this is a spammable spot that typically someone shoots when shooting at stairs. So you don't want to do that. So you have to put it in a spot that doesn't allow your opponents to hear it, but he needs to be affected. So, let's say this is a scent, and I'm not gonna put the trap like this, right? Because if I'm putting the trap like this, someone who is in this area on the right, in main, in this blue box, he will hear that the trap is in this position. So I have to move it, the trap, like this, so it activates when people are out, then it explodes people can shoot it to counter the explosion and the stun will not happen but at least they are not alerted where the trap is because i would have put the trap here someone standing in this position will already hear that the trap is here and he can just either literally just crawl out of it if someone is holding this angle or just shoot it so that creates a lot of issues with this trap setup because you're not expected to uh, get value out of it passively, like from an alarm bot or from a cypher. So it's completely different kind of playstyle. So in my eyes, and also you cannot pick it up. So if you put it down, you cannot pick it up. And that's also a huge problem when it comes to commitment to this to this character. You don't get a lot of value out of your util that you spend 400 credits on. And the range of it is also when it comes to putting down the trap is trash. It's 14 meters, like. You cannot do it impromptu because look, look at the range. This is the range that you can put it on a wall. And it takes time to arm as well. And it's visible first. So you cannot put it ret retroactively because people will always know exactly where it is and where are you because the range of putting the trap is so, so long. As a cypher, you're able to put the traps from way further back. And if I'm not mistaken, they also activate faster so they're not as visible for such a long time. So... Um, that's, that's one thing. How would I fix that is it would be nice to recall it. That would be definitely a buff. It would be nice to buff the wind up time. So it explodes faster. It would be awesome, but maybe overpowered if deadlock would have not be stunned in her own trap, because if you're in the trap, you're going to get stunned and the same goes for your teammates. And by the way, the grenade also affects your teammates. So watch out for that. I actually trolled the brimstone by accident today. And um, what else? The I think the activation, the box needs to be wider. So if I put the trap like this, it the box should be wider on the bottom and wider on the top. So you're not limited to putting it in like only this height. You know, that's major issue for those traps that they are expected to be in this in this in this those kind of locations. I understand that why you cannot put them like on top, because uh, I guess it's hard to predict, but it would be awesome. But I don't think that will ever happen. Uh, but still, the biggest issue is the range of effect. Like this box is not that big when it comes to the effect of the stun. Um, it definitely needs needs a buff. And when it comes to buffing the grenade, because I, I think I don't think I mentioned that. I would definitely like it 
to have another effect. Like when you compare it to Seize, for example, from uh, Fade, the, f the Fade Grenade not only keeps people in this area, but also decays them for 75 HP, right? And also defends them. Those are three effects for a piece of utility that costs the same. And as an initiator, you do a better job as a sentinel with that piece of utility when it comes to holding a site. So I would like this grenade to have one bigger area of explosion and two, a secondary effect maybe like debuff like uh, uh like you know like viper snake bite or deal just 20 damage even like anything anything that is threatening anything that will like you know or or, or maybe audio cues when you hit someone like anything of value that you can get out of this and also probably remove the ability to remove the dot because why on earth am i able to remove that remove the net that is terrible all right when it comes to the wall i think it's a fine piece of utility I think it's useful. I think it's a, a unique and okay. I don't think it needs buffs. It does its job. It limits the movement of the opponents. But it doesn't like it doesn't feel like it's overpowered or anything. It's just okay. The problem with the wall is that it doesn't come on a cooldown. So you're the only character in a game right now that has one piece of utility on a signature that doesn't come back. Brimson at least has three smokes. You have one wall that lasts 30 seconds. And it doesn't like vision denial as well. So I would either want to see a um, few things. One, cool down for a minute. Like once you use it, uh, I would like it to get back after one minute. So you can use two of them in a round. Maybe that would be good. But then at the same time, on a professional level, if she would be used, then she's able to... Uh, very aggressively limit movement for the attackers on the map. So probably not a good idea. Second option would be uh, allowing you to preset it up. Like, you can put it somewhere on the ground and then activate like a cypher cage, right? So you can like know exactly when you want to activate it. And I think this might be might be overpowered as well because you could then like, let's say you plant a spike in this spot next to a wall and you put the wall like this and people cannot go towards it without destroying it so to to make sure that this doesn't happen when you deploy it on the on the ground i would like it to be visible to the opponents have a longer wind up time when activated so it's easier to to go through it and also um also to um have less hp when it's not built up so let's say it has 80 HP when it's on the ground, not activated. So you cannot do this with Sage because with Sage you have to do the wall immediately. And you can do this with this as well. But I want, what my point is, if you would put it on the ground and, not, and then activate by using the button again, that would make you very efficient when it comes to the timing this. So it's like, it's very, like, it would be very, very important to make sure that the wall, when not activated before activation, would be easily destroyable. Um, other ideas that I would, I was thinking, maybe you make the walls not transparent, but you can shoot still through them. But when you shoot through them, you destroy, like, parts of the wall that is being like covering the vision so let's say you you make this this wall like divide into like six boxes and each box has one hp so when you you like when you shoot through it you destroy the boxes and in this way you start seeing for the wall so it's like moment like temporary smoke you know like just divide into six boxes so they are big and each damage destroys one box and they, it becomes clear, you know? That's something that I would like maybe to see uh, because right now it's just like... It's still the best part of a kit, but it does feel a little bit lackluster, you know? I feel like I like the, the vision denial aspect a little bit uh, much more than the other ones because they're not like... This would be not be overpowered, you know? Yes, of course, but you would still not be able to move. Like, just don't change anything about the wall. Just add the boxes here that are that are not transparent that you can destroy. And that would be, I feel like, a little bit more usefulness. Adding a little bit more usefulness to her um, 
while making still her ability unique. When it comes to the ult, I don't think it's overpowered. I think it's okay. I don't think it's anything special. Showstopper is better while well, achieves a very similar thing. It's pretty unique, so it's fine. I would not change it, but it's definitely not overpowered or underpowered. It's just okay. Um, so yeah, uh, those are my ideas. I hope uh, that you guys enjoyed the video. I do think that she needs a buff. I don't think she... Like, she's definitely not seeing play right now in any composition because you cannot replace Cypher. You cannot replace Killjoy with this agent because it's completely different. They achieve different different um, stuff in the game. So that means that you will have to play her as a secondary sentinel. And that makes the entire composition way less proactive because on attack, she is suffering a lot. She she doesn't feel like any, kit, any piece of her kit apart from the ultimate is able to be proactive. You know? So... Uh, yeah, hope you guys gonna enjoy this, uh, enjoy this video, and we're gonna see each other tomorrow on stream. Love ya, thank you for watching, and if you have any other ideas that you would like to share with me, make sure uh, that you post it in the comment. And by the way, I forgot to add this, this video is sponsored by Orbit. Wait, Invisible Orbit, not Invisible Orbit. Thank you, Orbit, for sponsoring the video. See you guys, bye-bye.